Hey, there's Michael. It's a great day for a great day. It's also a great day to ripple something worth rippling. Beautiful autumn day in November. Sun's out. A little chill in the air. Got 37 miles in. Rehabbing from my surgery. Pretty awesome sauce. Wasn't going very fast. Probably about as fast as a turtle. And we love our turtles in this house. We got a house of scuba divers. And I thought Aquaman was a pretty righteous dude back in the day. And if you stretch your imagination just a little bit, Perhaps you can see ourselves as water life. After all, we're 60% water, a little factoid you can drop on Thanksgiving. And to give you a little insight about how my noodle works, when I think of turtles, I think of the fable of the tortoise and the hare. We know that story. I also think about Finding Nemo and Crush. Surfing the EAC, dude. No hurling on the shell, dude. Just waxed it, love Crush. Now I trust you know both stories. And of course, the turtle beats the hare, beats the rabbit, which gives some props to the tagline of pause, breathe, reflect, slow is fast. So back in the day, I didn't think slow is fast. I thought fast was fast. I was like the little bunny or the hamster on, you know, the hamster wheel, going a thousand miles an hour, trying to get everything done. And given all the distractions today, I think it's easier to feel that way. Do things right now. Be quick on your email. And before we know it, we're always on. We're Zooming, I am, and texting all at the same time, but we never feel we're getting anywhere. We never get across the finish line. I think this grand kerfuffle that we've all shared over the last two years is an invitation to slow down and think. And I know it doesn't feel this way most of the time at your company, but your company is paying you to think, not just do. And if you want to create a better tomorrow for you and your family, it does require some thought, some intentionality, some thinking time. It requires you to go slow in order to go fast. And the benefits of slowing down are numerous. Slowing down helps us communicate better, build connections, sell more, enhance our trust, become fitter, recover, and level up our creativity. Pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. Now, I love to get stuff done. I love to go fast, but here's the thing. Being intentional about when we need to go slow will help us go faster. It's been proven in studies. And if you're still with me, then you're probably thinking, okay, I get it, I've bought in. I get this whole slow is fast thing, Michael, but how do I do it? How do I do it in this cray cray, always working 24 seven, 365 grind that we seem to celebrate? Well, here's a few ways I wanna give you, especially as we're heading into a holiday here in the States to fight the toxic productivity that's out there the more is better thing and buy into what the Navy SEALs say. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So first off, let's start to accept that life and work is complex. That level of acceptance. That everything is connected in life and work. And when we think of life that way, it invites us to slow down and think. And here are a few more tips. We can start by eating slower and driving slower. This one's for me, I need to drive slower. Single task instead of multitask. Take three deep breaths, be curious. Change your relationship with email and social media. You can disconnect one day a week. Prioritize, and here's an important one. Set your intentions for how you wish to be today. You can also play my meditation before your Zooms and Teams just to slow everyone down. And you can also practice gratitude, vitamin G. And it's something that works year, year round. It's not just for Thanksgiving. Gratitude helps us slow down. And if you are celebrating Thanksgiving this week in the States, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you get to spend time with those who bring out the best in you, those in your Peloton, those that you're riding with. And I also hope you take a moment to pause, breathe, ref and reflect on what you want from your one wild and precious life in the new year. I hope you take this time to slow down and think because that's the best way to go fast. So until next week, remember to go slow. And of course, have fun storming the castle. We'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.